Okay, so let's look at our last, kind of our last way to do Punnett squares. So we're going to be focused on sex-linked traits here. So sex-linked traits are found on the X and the Y chromosomes, the chromosomes that determine gender. So sex-linked traits can have different, um, different options depending upon whether you're talking about a male versus a female. Okay, so one of the things we need to keep in mind is that males are going to be XY. Okay, so that's a male. And females are going to have two X chromosomes. Okay, so females have two X chromosomes, males are an XY. The majority of our sex-linked traits are found on the X chromosome. Okay, they are found on the X chromosome. So in the case of males, if the traits are found on the X chromosome, males only have one X chromosomes. X chromosome. So males express everything on the X chromosome. Okay, they express everything, whether it's a dominant or recessive, it doesn't matter. Okay, because males only have the one X chromosome. Females express things just like we would normally. Okay, if it is a heterozygous, you know, females can be heterozygous. So they could, they would express the dominant allele. Females could be homozygous recessive. Females could be homozygous dominant. Okay, but females then do not necessarily express everything because they have two copies of the X chromosome. So on that note, females can be what are called carriers. Okay, and so if you guys remember from your vocabulary, a carrier is somebody that has the allele, but they do not express the trait. So again, carriers um, are usually going to be heterozygous. You know, they would be something like big R, little r. So if I've got red is dominant to white, these flowers, um, big R, little r, those flowers are going to look red, okay, but they carry the allele for white, but they're not expressing it, okay? So they are a carrier. They have the allele, but does not express the trait. Carriers can be female when we're talking about sex-linked trait, okay? Males cannot be carriers because males only have one X chromosome. Females have two. So females could be heterozygous. They could be a carrier. Males cannot. Remember, males express everything that's on that X chromosome. Whether it's dominant or recessive, they're going to express it because they just have the one. Let's take a look at an example of a sex-linked trait situation here. So I've got a normal male. Okay, so males are X, Y. So if he's normal, that means he has to have the dominant allele. So I've got a normal male, and he is married to, or has, is married to a female who is a carrier of colorblindness. So that means the female does not have the trait because she has at least one dominant allele, but she can pass the trait on to her offspring. So this is my male genotype here. This is my female genotype here. Okay, let's look at what their children could, what their possible children offspring could be. So I've got my Punnett square, right? I draw my Punnett square. I put my gametes for the dad. I'm going to put those on the top. Okay, so there's the possibility of dad. Dad could pass on an X chromosome. Dad could pass on a Y chromosome. The gametes for the mom, mom could pass on an X chromosome that has the dominant allele. She could pass on an X chromosome that has the recessive allele. Their possible children could be a homozygous female a male that is not colorblind, a carrier or a heterozygous female, and a male that is colorblind. So the girls that they have have a 50% chance of being a carrier. The males that they have have a 50-50 shot of having the disease. Okay, let's look at one more example. Let's look at this example. I've got a colorblind male and a normal female that have children. One of their children is a daughter. They have a daughter that is colorblind. What does that tell you about the female or the mother? Well, let's kind of write down what we have. We know that the daughter is colorblind. That means the daughter has to be this. Okay, she's got to be homozygous recessive, right, to be colorblind. To show the recessive a trait, she needs to have two recessive alleles. So I've got a colorblind male. Okay, so the dad just needs one to show the trait because he has an X and a Y. And I've got a normal female. So that means my female has to have at least one dominant allele. 
but I don't know what the second one is yet because it just said she was normal. It didn't say if she was a carrier. It didn't say if she was homozygous dominant. So based on what we know about the daughter, let's see what we can figure out about the mother. So if I set up a square, okay, so I've got the father's gametes along the top. I've got what I know about the mother. She's got one, at least one dominant allele. And then I know she's got another X. I just don't know if it's a dominant or recessive allele attached to it. So based on what I know, I know that they could have a daughter that could be a carrier. They could have a male that has it. And then I don't know down here at the bottom. What I do know is that dad can only pass on the allele to his daughter. Okay? Dad can only pass on an X little h to the daughter. So for them to have a daughter that has the disease, mom also needs to be able to pass on a little h. So that tells me that mom is a carrier, that the mother had to be a carrier to be able to pass that on to her daughter. Okay, so it's harder for the children, the daughters, to actually get the disease. Okay, so sex-linked traits are definitely more common in females because both the male has to have the disorder and mom either has to have the disorder or be a carrier for the daughter to be able to get it. Easier for males to get it because they only need the one um, X chromosome to get it. Males will receive sex-linked traits from the mother. Okay? Males receive the sex-linked trait from the mother because the only place that a male can get a Y chromosome from is dad. Mom does not have a Y chromosome to pass on. So the X chromosome that a male gets has to come from the mother. So if a male has the disorder, the mom has got to either carry it or have the disorder. Okay, so sex-linked traits, like I said, they're just like regular Punnett squares. You just have to now factor in the fact that you have X's and Y's, the male versus female, and that they're going to be more common in your males.